The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The social housing system has been impacted by national and international factors, especially since the global financial crisis. This has caused a great deal of complexity in the system and that's made it difficult for stakeholders to actually understand how it all works. This project has built on previous research by the Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre. The initial project established nine impact domains which have underpinned our research to date. For our current research project, we have established a series of 13 network maps for each of Queensland and Western Australia and a series of associated findings and recommendations. To produce the maps, we firstly identified WA Department of Communities and the Queensland Department of Housing and Public Works as the focal participants. We also acknowledge the central role of the person and the family when developing these maps. We then established 13 elements to be used to help identify and aggregate participants and to facilitate map clarity. The initial identification of participants and links between them was done based on the knowledge and expertise of the research team and desktop research. 11 participant groupings were identified to help improve map legibility. All this information was then consolidated into supporting reference tables which included additional detail about the nature of the links and the flows between participants. From this, a series of 26 maps were developed, 13 for Western Australia and 13 for Queensland. Using these, a series of expert panel workshops were held in Perth and Brisbane in May and June 2019, from which a series of final maps were developed. Literacy Housing Group delivers uh, nearly 80% of the state's social and affordable housing uh, via Department of Communities and the Housing Authority and today we're talking about our relationship with SBE or Sustainable Built Environment uh, and what that relationship does for our company in terms of driving energy efficient sustainable solutions uh, in an affordable housing setting. Through the extensive mapping that was undertaken for this research by SBE, it's identified uh, the complexity and the expansiveness of the social and affordable housing network across Australia and therefore will guide policy surrounding key issues, um, not just at state level but, but, but across Australia. This particular piece of research, it's really developed a resource for us which uses a visual method of representing quite a complex system. It's a tool which we can actually use in our conversations with partners, also when we're developing policies, service designs, things like that, to actually look at all the different interactions that are happening and just see where we need to be thinking and focusing our efforts and who we actually need to be dealing with. Because this research is sort of a point in time snapshot, we can actually use it for informing policies, um, looking at even strategic and structural changes um, to the housing system overall. We can look back on it to use it for evaluation as well to see the type of environment we were operating in at the time. There's also the capacity building within the organisation of using these network maps. They're actually a really good tool. They're something that we can look to update as we as an organisation actually develop and grow. It is important to note that the maps are a snapshot in time at July 2019. To help legibility, maps have been divided into three shaded segments, representing the broad sectors of government, industry and community. The darker shading in the centre of the maps is home to those organisations with the closest primary links to the focal participant. We have also used acronyms throughout due to the number of participants represented in most elements. For example, they could provide the basis for a living process for organisations to engage with partners and stakeholders to build understanding of their networks. They are intended to provide a baseline overview of this network to inform current understanding and future analysis and decision making. They cannot be comprehensive due to the expansive nature of the network and limited project resources, but aim to provide a foundation for future decision making. 20 key findings and recommendations have been highlighted as a result of this mapping process. The network mapping research means that all stakeholders now have a common framework for undertaking policy analysis and service development. We also think the report's been written in such a way 
that people using social housing will see themselves evidenced in the report and respected in the outcomes. As chair of the Project Steering Committee, I can assure users of this research that both the researchers who've undertaken the work and the Project Steering Committee have worked diligently to ensure the evidence base is clear and effective. We believe that this research will link previous research projects and become an effective tool for enhancing the social housing system. Mm -hmm.